Today we will conduct an interesting experiment, which is called a free layer colored liquid. To conduct this experiment, we will need a solution of potassium dichromate, which I pour into the test tube. Let's pour a small amount of liquid. Next, we will need diethyl ether. Diethyl ether has a low density, so it will float on the surface of a solution of potassium dichromate. Next, add a small amount of sulfuric acid solution to our mix. To start the reaction, add a few drops of 20% hydrogen peroxide into the test tube. After adding a hydrogen peroxide, a very interesting transformation occurs. Fluid between the layers of ether and potassium dichromate becomes dark. When potassium dichromate and hydrogen peroxide react in acidic environment, an unstable compound is formed, chromium oxide peroxide. That compound decomposes immediately into an aqueous solution and gives the middle layer of the liquid a dark color. However, in organic solvents such as diethyl ether, chromium oxide peroxide can be stabilized and exist long enough without decomposition. This experiment demonstrates an interesting properties of chromium. The title chrome metal comes from the Greek name chrome, which means color. Such title name was chosen because different chromium compounds, depending on the degree of oxidation, can have almost all colors of rainbow.